दिस वीडियो इज प्रिपेयर बाय आव्या क्लासेस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल रेज योर डाउट एंड वॉच द वीडियो फॉर श्योर सक्सेस इन जे एम सनीट द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज फाइव कंकरेंट फोर्सेस आर एक्टिंग ऑन अ बॉडी फॉर अ बॉडी टू रिमेन इन इक्विबीरियम अंडर दीज फाइव फोर्सेस यू हैव गिवन फोर ऑप्शन F is equal to 10 newton. F is equal to 5 newton, and the angle alpha is given in a range. You have to calculate the value of F and alpha. So how you will solve this problem? As the body remains in the equilibrium, what it means? It simply means that all forces acting on the body add up to zero. So it means summation F is equal to zero. so how we will approach it so suppose that we just remove the value you have to calculate the value of f so in order to calculate the value of f first we will try to remove f and see what is the effect of all this remaining four forces so if if i remove f then the net force towards the vertical direction will be equal to 8 newton minus 4 that is 4 newton in downward direction as 4 newton is upward 8 newton is downward and in the horizontal direction it is equal to 3 newton towards positive x side if you consider this is positive x this is our positive y then 4 newton x towards minus minus y and 3 newton x towards plus x so if you add it up then what we will get we will get the resultant force will be equal to resultant force due to this will this will be equal to this will be square root 3 square plus 4 square that is square root 5 square and 5 newton and it will make and some angle alpha if suppose this is the angle alpha then this angle alpha is equal to tan alpha is equal to 4 divided by 3 and uh, in fact we consider it alpha dash then tan alpha then alpha dash is equal to tan inverse 4 by 3 now this is the net force due to all forces all remaining forces so if 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 this whole body is to be in equilibrium then this fifth force must be equal and opposite to this resultant force r which we have calculated so the value of f is if f turns out to be 5 newton first thing and what will be the angle the angle of this force will be equal to this much that is this angle must be equal to alpha Uh, alpha dash so if i say alpha then this angle alpha is equal to 180 minus alpha dash that is alpha is equal to 180 minus tan inverse 4 by 3 and this angle lies into second quadrant so option c is correct 90 degree greater than alpha less than 180 degree and f is equal to 5 newton Now we'll see next problem. A man of mass m stands on a crate of mass capital M. He pulls a light rope passing over a smooth light pulley. The other end of rope is attached to the crate. For a system to be in equilibrium, the force exerted by man on the rope will be m plus m g. And second option, third option, and fourth option. All options are given. You have to solve it. So we will first try to draw the free body diagram. or uh, what are the net forces acting on this uh, man plus crate system and then solve it so this is the man having mass small m and this is the crate having mass capital m so the net uh, net mass is m plus m so clearly the gravitational force acts is equal to capital m plus a small m into g this is the gravitational force if t is the tension then t is the tension and as this is pulley is massless this is given as pulley is massless uh, and the string is massless so because of this whatever tension acts on one end it will get automatically transferred to the other end so if t is this tension then this tension also turns out to be t and so in this way we can say that 
if i free body diagram draw the free body diagram of man plus crater system it is equal to m plus mg in downward direction and in upward direction its two forces are acting t and t so clearly 2t is equal to m plus mg and we get t is equal to m plus m g by 2 if you see the options then option b is correct that the force exerted by man on the rope will be 1 by 2 m plus m g now we'll see next problem a cricket ball of mass 150 gram is moving with a velocity of 12 meter per second and is hit by a bat so that ball is turned back with a velocity of 20 meter per second the force of blow acts for 0.01 second on the ball the average force exerted by the bat on the ball so suppose this this ball is coming with a well it with a speed of 12 meter per second it comes and hit this bat hit this bat afterwards hitting its return with a speed of 20 meter per second we consider this direction as a positive direction so you have to calculate the average force exerted by the bat on the ball so first thing is the average force and average force if average is equal to m into average acceleration so how we will calculate this average acceleration so first we will calculate average acceleration average acceleration means change in velocity which is and divided by time so final velocity minus initial velocity divided by final time minus initial time that is delta t change in time so final velocity is 20 meter per second minus initial velocity is equal to minus bar we are considering this direction as a positive so plus so so this 20 meter per second comes with a positive sign and this 12 meter per second comes with a negative sign so divided by time delta t delta t is equal to 0 0.01 second so finally we get we, we get 32 divided by 0 0.01 is the meter per second square this is the acceleration now you have to calculate you have to multiply it by mass to get the average force so if average is equal to 150 by 1000 into 32 divided by 0 0.01 and it's equal to 150 divided by 10 into 32 15 into 32 and comes equal to 480 newton so option A is correct 480 Newton. A solid sphere of mass 10 kg is placed over two smooth inclined plane as shown in figure. Normal reaction at 1 and 2 will be. So you have to calculate the normal reaction at 1 and 2. There are two smooth inclined plane. One is making an angle 30 degree with the horizontal and another one is making angle 60 degree with the horizontal so if you have to calculate i will just show you that suppose this this is called as n1 this is the normal reaction one and this is equal to n1 so we call it n1 similarly this is the normal reaction n2 and this is the and these two normal reaction passes through the center of this sphere solid sphere and from the center of this solid sphere one board one block of mass as it is the body of mass 10 kilogram so we have a force equal to 10 g acts in downward direction so if we write all forces which is acting on this body that is at the center then this is basically one force n2 is there and this force is making an angle this force n2 is making an angle this is force n2 is making an angle so if you see that this angle is 60 degree this angle is 60 degree see see as if if the n2 will be 
directly perpendicular if the, uh, if the surface will be like that then n2 will be the perpendicular to the plane now we are shifting the surface by an angle 60 degree then n2 will also be shifted to an angle 60 degree so clearly this angle is 60 degree and n2 is making 30 degree with the horizontal direction so this is the n2 which is the making an angle 30 degree with the horizontal direction similarly if you see that this n1 n1 is making an angle 60 degree with the horizontal direction so n1 is making this is the n1 which is making an angle 30 degree with the horizontal direction sorry 60 degree with the horizontal direction so this is n1 this is n2 and a body of mass as did this is the body of mass 10 kg so 10 g forces 10 if i take j g is equal to 10 meter per second square then 100 newton force acts in downward direction so you have to calculate n1 and n2 and for this figure has already been drawn so this is the example of lamy theorem that if you apply the lamy theorem then you know that if the body is in equilibrium so as here the body is in the equilibrium due to forces n1 n2 and n3 n1 n2 and this w so we call it is equal to w so the net force is equal to zero and the body is in equilibrium then for the concurrent forces if you see that all forces are concurrent all are passing through a single point and all are coplanar forces also then you have to you you know that as for the lamy theorem the angle between if if the numerator is n1 then n1 is n1 divided by angle between remaining two so remaining two is n2 and w so angle between w and n2 is equal to 120 degree so sine 90 plus 30 degree is equal to n2 divided by sine 90 plus 60 degree is equal to w divided by sine 90 degree so base, so basically as we know the lamy theorem if you have uh, if you cannot remember that uh, that theorem then you you go in uh, go go through my my previous classes and you may fi uh, find out this lamy theorem so as per this lamy theorem we derived this equation so now if you solve this equation we will get the value of n1 n2 n1 and n2 so basically here we get n1 by cos 30 degree is equal to n2 by cos 60 degree and it is equal to w is equal to 100 newton so w divided by 1 and n1 we get 100 cos 30 degree so n1 is equal to 100 cos 30 degree and it is equal to 100 into a square root 3 by 2 that is equal to 50 square root 3 newton so n1 is equal to 50 square root 3 and similarly n2 is equal to 100 cos 60 degree that is 100 into 1 by 2 and it is equal to 50 newton so n1 is 50 root 3 n2 is equal to 50 so the answer is a n1 50 root 3 n2 50 now we'll see next problem that a mass of 6 kg is, is suspended by a rope of length 2 meter from the selling a force of 50 newton in the horizontal direction is applied at the midpoint p of the rope as shown in this figure below what is the angle that the rope makes with the vertical in equilibrium neglect the mass of the rope so such kind of problem we have already solved so we just make uh, we just solve this, this problem quickly and I will just show you first you, you have to write you have to draw the free body diagram so for this mass m the 60 newton force acts in downward direction in the upward direction tension t2 acts okay and if you see that if you consider this point if you consider this point then at this point you have one force 50 newton again here if you see that here a force uh, 
x it is equal to t1 so this is equal to t1 cos theta and this is equal to t1 sin theta in the downward direction it is t2 so basically if we write here then t2 is equal to 60 newton and here we get t1 cos theta is equal to t2 is equal to 60 newton so t1 cos theta is equal to 60 newton and here if we see then t1 sin theta is equal to 50 newton and you have to calculate the angle theta so then uh, tan theta is equal to 50 by 60 that is equal to 5 by 6 and theta is equal to tan inverse 5 by 6.